I like to get a little loose before the rock show. My favorite venue in the country to play, man, we've played so many venues over the years, but uh, I really like the 930 Club in uh, DC. Um, obviously the Fillmore. You know, honestly, like any, any venue that has a bathroom backstage is, gets a lot of points in my book. Um, access to outside, fresh air, you know. Well, then you have shows like this where you get to play these beautiful outdoor venues and you're not stuck in a, in a box, you know, and, and that kind of makes it all worth it when it's summertime and you get to be outside. And We were playing this show like somewhere in Long Island and this dude got hold of a fire extinguisher and started spraying us. <laughs> and like he started on the other side of the stage and I didn't, I didn't like, I thought like the building was collapsing. Like, cause all of a sudden there's just all this dust going on. And like, I was really confused until the guy finally like sprayed me. I'm like, oh my God, this guy just <laughs> sprayed me with a fire extinguisher. I thought if I ever died from like asbestos poisoning, that's gonna be That would have been it. That's gonna be it. Yeah, yeah. It was a really bad, I think he might've spent the night in jail that night. Um, just constant adventure and meeting interesting people and seeing weird shit. <laughs> We had like this, uh, we had this show and like really like a like a spiritual death tour, which a friend, of, a good friend of mine's band ALO coined that term. <laughs> but anyway, we had this, we had our own spiritual death tour, and we played in Doth, and then our tour manager got ar arrested after like a, a bizarre sort of like uh, street brawl thing, and then you know it's like you know what are we doing? And it's like, if there's not, and the next night was in New Orleans and we were playing at the Maple Leaf and I was, if, the, if people show up at this show at the Maple Leaf, I'm just, I'm, I'm over this. So I'm going to go do something else. So I don't know what it's going to be, but, and then that night, you know, like a hundred people showed up in that little Maple Leaf and we were, you know, slated to play two sets or whatever. We played three and we played as late as we possibly could. And that's like, that thing probably bought me two more years, you know, it's, so that's how you keep going with something like this. Cause it's not. There's no real roadmap unless you're Justin Bieber and you've been groomed in Disneyland. You know, to dance. <laughs> I'm not a good dancer. <laughs> Speaking of Dothan, I'm gonna grab a little bit of my beer here. What's amazing about Dothan is that it's, um, I think it's like it's where Trojan manufactures all of its uh, condoms. And I, you know, I met a lot of single mothers at that show. <laughs>